Morning everybody, Johnny Gerard, the Patriot here. I'm going to bring you guys this emergency special transmission about a dire warning that Bill Gates gave to the world, talking about hundreds of millions of people possibly dying from diseases or biological weapons that could be released into the world. Now we know that there's been an attack on the American people by these forced vaccines. There's also many migrants coming from the Middle East with diseases that we've not had in this country for a very long time including smallpox tuberculosis is something that we've had bringing in from south america and mexico but i want to talk about leprosy here for a second let me just explain something to you about what i'm talking about check this out we got some spanish rice right here we're going to cook some spanish rice and eggs for breakfast i'm kind of hungry but uh you know bill gates was saying that and what is he hiding? I'm trying to wonder what is, what is he hiding and what is he not telling us? But you know what? Some of these migrants are coming over here with this smallpox, leprosy, TB. But I want to read something to you about TB. Maybe you don't know this. Maybe you do. I don't know. But every two minutes in the world, somebody is diagnosed with leprosy. Right? Uh, in 2015, 106 different countries uh, had cases of leprosy in it and it's caused by a germ or bacteria called myobacterium leprae which destroys the body's ability to feel pain and it causes infection when you get injuries resulting in tissue loss and the bones shrinking and a lot of people think that leprosy causes your limbs to fall off. No, what it causes is you to have to have your limbs amputated. Now if you think back about the Middle Ages, what they used to do with lepers or leprosy patients or whatever, they used to dig these great big giant pits and toss these people down in there and just throw pieces of bread or, and food down in there for them until they died. Because this disease is an airborne disease. It can be spread by coughing, sneezing, uh, repeated body contact, so what is Bill Gates trying to hide from us? What is the New World Order bringing to this country? Are they bringing massive diseases that we, we just can't control? What, what are we going to do if the New World Order decides to tell the CDC not to treat these diseases in a way that will be curable? What are we going to do if they continue to push this upon us and bring in hundreds of thousands of people with these diseases and then it just spreads into a pandemic and we can't control it just like the black plague did back in the middle ages they're already bringing that stuff over there into europe you know so hey check it out i got some badass seasoning right here i can't show you the label because it, it's but it's good you just gotta trust me on that it's super spicy man hey but you know what i just want to tell you guys that i found that over there on an info wars report they were talking about it there's a couple other people that are talking about it too out there on the internet but I'm gonna post the link in the bottom of the video to an InfoWars report where they brought this subject up and I did a little bit more research on it and found out about it but I just want to pose the question to you America what do you think Bill Gates knows that we don't know and what is he hiding from the American public when he issued this warning are they just not even hiding it anymore are they trying to destroy the world we already know that you know what here's a coincidental thing the day that he said that, his wife Melinda Gates goes on uh, YouTube and Twitter and posts this uh, advertisement. I would have to say it's an advertisement, but she was promoting birth control pills. Okay, birth control pills can be good for women for certain things, and it does give you an opportunity to get pregnant only when you want to get pregnant. But we all know that the New World Order and globalists want population control and to reduce the world's population because they believe the world has reached a population level that cannot be sustained anymore. Think about it. Uh, Chelsea Clinton comes out with this book, Governing World Health, Who Runs the World and Why. It's a globalist plan to govern your world health in the name of we're going to take care of you when really it's just they want to control you and depopulate the world. 
So I'm asking you the question, America. You tell me what you think about Bill Gates and what he said, and what are your ideas on this subject. Let's start a discussion. This needs to be talked about because it's not in the mainstream media. They're not talking about the diseases that are coming over here. So my name is Johnny Jetrod, and I just want to thank America. And uh, hey, you know what? If you want to subscribe to my channel, go ahead and subscribe. I'd sure like to have another couple more subscribers. We may open up a Patreon account here pretty soon. But hey, this is America. You got free speech. You can talk about what you want to talk about. You can open your eyes to the world around you, or you can continue to be a sheep and, and never realize that the world is trying to control you and see... Uh, and see the world through the globalist eyes. You can do that if you want to. But I'm here to wake you up and give you an opportunity to see the world in a different way and understand that, you know, not everything is what it seems to be when it comes to the globalist and the new world order. And you need to understand that your life and your freedom is at risk when you come talking about these people and bringing out these subjects than what they're trying to do to America and the rest of the free world. So as long as you understand that, we're on the same page. But I hope I can wake you up and bring this light to you and show you what they're trying to do. So make a comment in the section below. Subscribe to my channel. Tap that bell for future notifications. My name is Johnny Jetrod. Thank you, America.